Hi everybody, I'm Lisa Guerrero, and you probably know I'm Inside Edition's Chief Investigative Correspondent. You probably also know that I'm usually the one asking the questions, but today I'm gonna to be answering your questions because we're celebrating the fact that we have five million subscribers on YouTube. So thank you so much for your loyalty. Thank you for watching. I'm really nervous to read these questions that you have all uh, submitted. Okay, here we go. Are you ready? Buckle your seatbelts. Username VenomZ on mobile says, how long have you been working on Inside Edition? I joined Inside Edition in 2006. I was originally a West Coast correspondent, so I covered the news and tons and tons of entertainment stories and red carpets. Style makers and party goers hit the red carpet. So I covered the Oscars and I covered uh, BET awards and all those you know fun Grammys, all that kind of stuff. And then in 2010, I was promoted to the chief investigative correspondent. That camera saw you. We found that this bathroom was not thoroughly cleaned. Are you trying to take advantage of young women? So that's what I've been doing for the last eight years. Okay, uh, let's see, username Limited Plays says, what has been your favorite adventure so far, like investigating a restaurant, etc." Every day is a fun new adventure for me and my unit. We love every single thing we do, but off the top of my head, I especially like the stories where we get to chase bad guys, meaning we put a GPS system in a bike and we see if it's gonna get stolen, and so we chase those bad guys down the street and we catch them. Anything that involves us shining a light on wrongdoing or crimes or scams, we love doing those kinds of stories. They're always an adventure. In fact, we're working on some fantastic adventures right now that are gonna air in the next few weeks. So make sure you watch Inside Edition on TV and of course right here on YouTube as well. Thanks for that question. Okay, username, Jennifer Fan. How is your hair so perfect? Okay, um, I have good genes. Both my dad and mom had really thick hair. My hair was not so perfect in the 80s. I had dyed blonde hair and I had a perm and it was a disaster. So um, now I spend a lot of time and money on conditioner. And I try to uh, have the same hairstyle every day so I don't have to do updos and do ponytails. I try to keep it all consistent, so that helps. And I take plenty of vitamins. Take your vitamins, kids. Then you'll have nice hair. Okay, uh, from James Crowley. Lisa, what is your most memorable moment when investigating? Okay, probably my most memorable moment was when I was in the courtroom after a series of stories we did called Justice for Juliet. A little girl named Juliet Gertz died she was actually killed in her crib. She was only two years old. And my unit and I tracked down the three adults that were in that house with her. The local police couldn't solve the crime, so we did. We uh, went on a cold case investigation. We found all three of those adults in different states. And a couple of years later, we were in the courtroom when they found Dustin Chauncey guilty. And he's now spending 80 years to life in prison in Nebraska. So being there in that courtroom was probably the most memorable moment of my Inside Edition career. Great question, thank you. Username, Fab. Um, what is the most dangerous experience you've had? There are a lot of them, right? Seems like. One time I had a gun pulled out on us. We were uh, chasing a guy who um, was doing a scam on women on the internet. He was dating all these women and we caught up to him and, and he actually came out of his house waving a gun. So that was pretty scary. There was that time I got hit by a car. Believe it or not, an old dentist hit me with his car and I kind of flipped a little bit but I held on to the microphone. So um, one of my proudest moments for sure. Every other week we do scary things, and uh, to us, that's fun. I like doing scary stuff. All right, username, Dustry Paradise. Dustry Paradise, yep. Congrats, IE, on the five million subscribers. Lisa, I admire your bravery when confronting people doing wrong or bad things. How do you gather the courage and confidence to confront strangers, especially unkind strangers? That's a great question. Thank you so much for those kind words. Um, I think it's easy to confront people when you know that the victims have trusted you with their stories and that we feel that we're giving our viewers 
really good advice. We're giving them solutions on how to handle problems in their life, and we're helping to shed a spotlight on, on wrongdoing. So it makes me brave knowing that the victims have trusted me with their stories. Um, and of course, before I did this job, I was a sportscaster. I was the only woman in a lot of locker rooms with mainly men. And so that made me be brave uh, just out of necessity, because I had to be brave uh, getting in there in the, in the locker room and scratching and clawing my way up to superstars in order to ask them a question. Uh, being a woman in a locker room is a pretty scary place to be, and, uh, but it was fun, and I enjoyed doing sports, but I love doing investigations a lot more. When was Inside Edition created? It was created uh, before most of you were probably born. David Frost, welcome to the first edition of Inside Edition. And we've been America's number one syndicated news magazine for a very long time. Thanks to you guys for watching. Username SE, hey Lisa, do you have any tips for people who want to be reporters? That's an awesome question and I really encourage you guys to think about a career in journalism. We need great young journalists. Remember, press is your friend, press is not the enemy. Uh, we are not the enemy of the people, we are a friend of the people. So if you're interested in journalism, for sure, think about going to college, major in English, then think about majoring in broadcast journalism in college. Um, I came through it a different way. I was an actress first and became a sportscaster. Carson, Brent McCafferty predicted a dog fight. That's exactly what this was. And sportscasting led me to Inside Edition. But for most of you right now, really concentrate on writing skills, communication skills, um, and, and really just getting to be familiar with how politics works, how local government works, and that will really lead you into some interesting places. So I encourage a lot of you to think about journalism. That's a great question, thank you so much. Um, username, Jack Doherty. How long does it take to film, edit, and produce a video for Inside Edition, and how often do you do it? Ugh, some of our investigations take weeks, even months of work. We've got story coordinators and associate producers, and of course my great producers, Larry and Charlie, and they do such a great job really coordinating all of these stories. Some take just a couple of days, some take weeks, some take months. Um, almost as long as this video is taking right now, actually, so sorry, <laughs> I'm going on and on. Okay, username, Tyler FTW1. Lisa, did you ever think you'd be this popular on YouTube? No, never, never. But thank you, thanks for watching. I love you. Lightning bonus round, here we go. These are really fast questions, really fast answers. How long have you been a reporter? I have been a reporter for about 25 years. Who's running y'all's YouTube? We have a mastermind, a world of talented men and women that are running our web team. If you had to pick one other job, what would it be? Um, if I could pick one other job, I would probably still be acting because that's what I used to do, or I'd love to be a detective. OMG, I love you, Lisa, says username Molly Kelly. If you could interview anyone you want, dead or alive, who would you want to interview? Probably uh, JFK, John F. Kennedy Jr., peacemakers like Gandhi, or mass murderers to kind of get into the head of people like Charles Manson. That'd be really interesting. That'd be a fascinating interview. People alive, probably Trump. How many people work in your offices? Here in New York City, we've got dozens and dozens of people working for Inside Edition here in our newsroom. You can see the people behind me. And then in Los Angeles, we have an LA bureau and about two dozen other people work there. Username, the Corvallis Boys. This is my last question, guys. Lisa, will you marry me? <laughs> my answer is, can you cook? Then the answer would be yes. Uh, great questions, everybody. Again, thank you so much for taking the time to answer us. Thank you for taking the time to subscribe to us. If you don't already subscribe, please do. We appreciate your loyalty. Please reach out to me on Twitter, on Facebook. I'm on Instagram, I'm everywhere. Keep sending me these questions and we'll do this again. This is really fun. Thank you guys so much and again, we appreciate your loyalty. Keep watching Inside Edition on TV and right here on YouTube.